All right, what's going on people of the internet? This is gonna be a real quick video on how not to fix a car. So I got a problem where my car was leaking oil and one of the main problems where it was leaking was under, obviously under the freaking car. Hold on one sec, I need to turn the light on. Uh, so we got a light on. So my car is leaking oil and it's still leaking oil from like this area right here, but I don't even know what that is. But so, I mean, it was leaking around the lower pan, the upper pan, and the, here it is, the oil pressure, or no, oil level sensor. That's the oil level sensor right there. That's the best look I can get right there. Get this out of the way. This is a plug. I can introduce you to the plug. To the plug. This was just my test, but yeah, so, I took the oil level sensor out, or yeah, that's it right there. And there's a, a circle gasket in the center of that thing. See how the plug's like a circle? There's a circle gasket and there's four bolts that are hard to get to. The top left one's hard to get to. And as you can see now, it's not really leaking, I don't think. But the problem I'm having now is when I took the oil level sensor out, a little bitty piece of plastic um, just fell off and um, it says Toyota up there. That's Toyota right there. That's what that word is. So it's a genuine part. It's never been messed with Toyota. But so problem with these older cars is, you know, things go wrong. Oh yeah, you can see oil coming from somewhere. Goodness. Goodness, goodness. In about 2000 miles, I've lost a third of a quart of oil. And um, quart of oil's like diddly nothing to me, so. Um, plus my car is getting, uh, uh, under, undercoated, but so yeah, the problem is the sensor, um, you know, I thought it was like, see how it's dirty? See how it has oil? There's oil come from somewhere and I'm not interested in trying to figure out what's going on. I'm busy right now. And so if I leave this plug plugged into the sensor, um, it goes off in about two to five minutes of me driving, which is really annoying because I don't have a warning light on the dash and it's just annoying. Cool thing about this car though, is it has a dipstick. So this is redundant. This is just to like, if someone doesn't check their dipstick, this will be like, yo, check your dipstick. But I check my dipstick and this is my car. And if I were to sell this car, I'll either let the person know that the sensor isn't working right or I'll fix it. But that sensor is 400 bucks and this little piece of wire costs nothing. So I have eyes, I have a dipstick. So see how this is, this sensor is not plugged into anything? Sensor is not plugged into anything. See that? We got that, check, check, check. Just a little piece of wire in one end, out the other. So we're gonna keep the video going. The keys should be some, oh yeah, I got my keys. Okay, so got my keys. Cool thing about this car is it's uh, Japanese and it's older. So we just set the key in the car. Don't have to hit the brake or anything. Oh, turn the car on. What do we know? There's no warning lights on. Huh. But the sensor's not plugged in. Huh. Brakes because we're in the air and the brake is down. I don't even have the thing chalked. I'm not even, you know, I don't, I don't got the time for that. So, um, yeah, case dismissed. Uh, bring in the dancing lobsters. Court dismissed. Bring in the dancing lobsters. Thank you for watching. All right, here for posterity's sake, we're all done. Grab this thing. It's at full. There's no more full than that. So. Well, um, you got this, Kevin. You can do it, you can do it. Oh man, I got this, come on. Oh man, come on. We did it, guys. All right, so, you know, every time I, you know, pump gas into my car, 
amount of time today I actually checked, I got a full tank, the amount of time that it took to put gas in the tank. There you have napkins at the gas station, you know, start pumping your gas, pull your dipstick out, clean it, put it back in, check it. Uh, I thought my oil was actually a third or a quarter quart low, and that's over 25, like 2,000 miles or something, 2,2500 miles. So if it's leaking that slow, I'm really not bothered. Plus, I'm adding new fresh oil in if I need to add oil, and it's even better for the car, you know? Oil leaks are good for the thing. No one told you that. Have a good day.